Greetings. Josh Woods here. And we in my old neighborhood. This is where I used to stay. This is a Kmart. This is where I used to stay when I was living in that foster home like 16 years ago. Godfather's Pizza. This radio shack wasn't here though, and this Godfather's Pizza wasn't here. None of this stuff was here. The Kmart was here. I'm gonna take a little tour through my old neighborhood. We're gonna go through my my neighborhood and my foster home. What it was like living there. Everything in the area. We're gonna take a move out of the way. People just think they can do what they want. Yeah, this is a little tour. A little tour of where I used to stay. 16 years ago when I got took them from my home. Me and my brother, my sister. My sister Deanna, my brother Samuel. Here go that McDonald's. Pizza Hut right next to it. Checkers. We never shopped at Checkers ever in my life with my real family until I came to this foster home and started going to Checkers. All the way out on this side of town. This is the south side right here. South High ain't even that far from here either. Take a little tour. This rent center wasn't here. Check and go, great wire, Mr. Good Sense, none of this stuff was here. That Goodwill down there was there though. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hope they let me in. I'm trying to get in. That Dylan's was there. Boy, this is my old neighborhood right here. We're gonna take a little tour. I wish I could find my old elementary school, White Elementary. I don't know where that's at though. I tried looking for it one time. Couldn't find it. We're gonna go after this truck. Yeah, this is my little neighborhood, old neighborhood. I can identify where to turn once I see that quick trip. Once I see that quick trip, I'll be able to identify where to turn, where to pull up, the neighborhood that I'm about to pull up in. I don't know. See, we was going through a lot of stuff when I was a kid. When I was like 11, actually 10. I was 10 years old. Me and my sister, we went to school at, uh, well, I went to Ray Woodman and my sister was going to Truesdale. She was like 12 at the time, I was 10. And our parents were supposed to pick us up from school and it was raining real bad and they didn't pick us up. My dad, nor my mom. My mom didn't have a car at the time, but somebody was supposed to get us. There was supposed to be some kind of arrangement made with my mom and my dad because they was divorced and somebody was supposed to pick me and my sister up from school and it was raining real bad. Nobody picked us up, so the principal called the police. Police came, took us to the children's home. We stayed there for about six months. I was the first one to leave. And here we are. Here's that Crick trip. I know exactly where to turn. This is exactly where I stayed, right over here, in the middle of nowhere. There was the only, the, the only store that was nearby was Crick trip. And right where this little bridge is right here, whatever you want to call it, this is where we stayed. Yeah. Oh, I don't forget this at all. I can't remember if it was the first or second turn. I think it was the second. No, I don't think I turned there. Boy, look at this. I remember all these houses. Maywood, this is where it was. I'm about to go past the bus stop too where we used to stand. We had to come all the way down where we seen that no outlet sign. It was the house way on the end. It was 
the house way on the end. This is my old neighborhood right here. I knew everybody that stayed over here. Mostly white people. And this is the house. That's the house right there. There was a basketball court in the backyard. I never will forget this. Foster parents used to foster parents used to come through, pick me up from school. Yeah, that's it. That's it, baby. That's where I stayed. Parents used to call you in for dinner and lunch and breakfast. First time I ever had parents that called me in for dinner, lunch, and breakfast. Like Josh, Julian, that was my foster brother. Josh, Julian, y'all come in, it's time for dinner. You come in, you find out that you got spaghetti and a breadstick and juice. Love that. Basketball court in the backyard. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Full course meals. Never had that. I used to talk bad about my foster home a lot, man, but after, over the years, when I really thought about it, them people was good to me. They was really good to me. This is where we used to come to go to the bus stop. Me and my uh, foster brother, Julian, I had a foster sister named Raquel, too. And we used to walk all the way down here what was embarrassing was everybody know I didn't look like my foster brother and my foster sister. And they would wonder if we had different last names or the same last name. I would tell people my last name was Woods. It ain't no Hendrickson. Well, you don't look like them. Well, that's because I'm not them. This is where we used to come for the bus stop. Bus stop, I think, used to pick us up right here at somebody's house, right here on the corner. Boy, memories, memories. Memories, memories. Boy, I wish I could find out where White Elementary was. I don't know if it's still there. Bus used to come all, all the way up here. Bus used to come all the way up here and then we would turn left at this bridge right here. Memories, boy, I tell you. I was a little kid. I never will forget coming out here. I never will forget my social worker bringing me all the way out here to my foster home for the first time just to meet the foster parents. She was like, Josh, you coming out here to meet your foster parents? This is where you're coming. I'm like, man, I don't want to meet them. She's like, you going to meet them. You ain't got no choice. So they was trying to be hospitable by ordering some pizza. They had already planned this. I never will forget this. They ordered some pizza my foster dad did. Just to be hospitable, you know, trying to be nice and hospitable. You know, he has a house guest. And this, and I'm about to be a future resident. So he figured he ordered some pizza. I didn't say nothing to them the whole time. I was so antisocial. When the pizza man finally came with the pizza, I didn't eat none of it. The social worker was like, Josh, eat some of this pizza. Come on, eat some. And I'm like, nope. Wouldn't say nothing. Wouldn't eat no pizza. I know I was mean. That I know my foster, I know my social worker was looking at me like, Josh, you really disappoint me. You really disappoint me. My foster, my foster dad one time sent me to Crick Trip to go get some gas for the lawnmower. Didn't even do it right. I think he gave me like five dollars worth. He gave me five dollars to get five dollars worth of gas, and I think I came back with like two. Couldn't pump right. I was just stupid. Yep. I remember that house. I remember it like it was my birthday. My brother, my foster brother Julian, he used to play bitty basketball. And uh when he would play bitty basketball and all that, we used to go to his games. My foster dad, I forgot his name, I'm calling him Harold. He was his coach. So we used to go to these bitty basketball games. And one thing that I love about that is that right after a win, uh, my foster dad would treat the whole team out to pizza. We 
people go to like Godfather's Pizza or something like that. And with me not being on the team, I felt privileged because I was being treated out to pizza too. Because it was my foster brother who was uh, being, it was because of him and his team while they were being treated out to Pizza Hut. But he was my foster brother, so I was being treated out too. I was going, I was there at the games. I was so jealous of him because he was talented. He could play basketball. I was a wannabe rapper. Yeah. I remember my foster mom, she bought me. Well, actually, she gave me $5. First time I ever was, first time I ever received allowance. They was actually really good to me. My foster mom, she gave me $5 one time. First time I, I ever received allowance. And I think that $5... I spent on a tape and that was the first time I had ever bought a wrap tape five dollars and I bought it from the flea market she's like what do you want to do with your five dollars I said I want to go to the flea market I want to go get that crisscross tape jump crisscross to make you jump jump uh-huh uh-huh jump jump <laughs> I was such a fan of them man I-35. Yeah, we was all through here. We was all through here.